apparently now. Okay, but the rumors you're not free from. I mean, there was the whole thing about you being pregnant, and that you're not. I'm not. Uh, can you? Do you mind if I just verify? Ah, oh, she's, she's good. good. Well, she's <laughs> based oh. <laughs> you know, things it's based so. Really? Yeah. How bad would it get this this uh, conflict between the two of you? Uh, man, it was bad. How bad? I, man, I'm not paying. No, but you're on the radio. <laughs> you, you've paid for the number on the radio. <laughs> this interview is, is recorded as we speak, so I mean, you know. The yeah. beauty of it is that you get to speak in your own voice about what happened, as opposed sure. to people just making assumptions of their own. And quite frankly, we are tired of rumors, so having babes here to talk about the actual truth is far better, mm. don't you think? Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think Aisha J. Uguti, Snezani, Space, Uguti, Nai, Agents, and Tafnugians, and Agents, and Tafnugians. So, now I'm going to give up babes, and I'm going to peel, and I'm going to peel me. So, he was living through you. Yes. Is that obviously in the relationship context we understand and in every other way as well? Financially, yeah. yes. So, look, people break up all the time, but they still remain business partners. Yeah, we are business partners. At what level? What, at what level when you say you're business partners? Um, what, what, what business do you have together? Um, my name is the same time. Outside music, so yeah. All right, we'll continue this conversation uh, while Babe Will Doom is here, but uh, what's exciting, of course, is the fact that she's got brand new music. All right, so what's exciting is the fact that she's got brand new music. My bad. I'm just so happy to see Babe Will Doom. <laughs> the fingers are a bit slippery. <laughs> All right, what Mo Flavor meant to say is uh, it's time for the news with Kopedi de Lokwe and the sports headlines with Owen Hunt. <laughs> All right, but um, just to clarify some confusion that happened on, on, on Instagram with regards to the pregnancy and, of course, the, the mum pincha engagement. Yes. So you're not engaged. Um, why was the picture posted this week and then deleted? Because that confused the hell out of everyone. Um, that's why I think it's easy to Um Sometimes we are posted. He posts from your yes. Instagram account. Sometimes. Does he have access to it? Yeah. And now still, he's got your logins now. Yeah. Did you, you gave him freely access to your Yes, but I'm like, I'm not So, yeah, that's why I'm not still it. So, Mom Pincha is the person who posted the engagement picture. When was that picture taken? Um, KPTM. Which was when? March 25. That picture was taken in March. It's yeah. an old picture. Yes. But he felt the need to go into your Instagram and account post. after you guys had broken up yeah. and post that picture exactly. to give people an impression that you guys mm -hmm. are engaged. Yeah. Sure. That sounds psychopathic to me. What, what's your relationship w with him in terms of, you know, whether um, you're in good stead or whether in your right in what, what What's the status of your relations with him now? Um, well, I'm from Nita. So basically, things are a bit sour at the moment. Yeah. Which is understandable because when people <laughs> separate, blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. It's a mess. So Babe Zodumo has made it to the show today with a brand new single. It's happening and, uh, you know, she's been telling us honestly about the realities around her life and her situation at a private uh, and personal level, which we appreciate, you know. And I think it's, it's safe to say that a lot of people have questions around certain aspects of your life um, and mm. we are glad that you're willing to talk to us about that. How are you feeling right now? Um, I have mixed emotions, John Andre, but I think you're right. Why, why do you have mixed emotions? Because I'm going to Ah, I said I wasn't going to do this. Mm. But babes, you know, I think it needs to be said because I hate to see a young woman as talented, as smart as you, living in so much fear, babes will do more, right? You don't have to answer this question, but we all know, because we've heard from multiple sources, people who've witnessed the fact that you have been physically abused by Mampinja, that he has beaten you in your relationship. And right now, and I'm sorry, but right now you're sitting here you're scared and you're worried about what's gonna happen next. Because you told us a tiny little truth, which is the fact that he went onto your Instagram and posted a picture without your permission. And it's deeper than that. 
and I can see it in your eyes, you're still suffering. And I don't want you to continue to suffer. Mampincha has no right to put his hands on you. It's unacceptable. You obviously have a lot of decisions to make, babes. Um, what do you feel like doing next? What do you feel like doing next? Um, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a natural answer to give. Um, when, when two people have, have shared what you've shared and the relationship has gone to where it's gone, and I mean, I can see the terror in your body language. That's why I was asking, are you okay? Because it's that obvious. And you don't know this, babes, but I have a very close friend of mine who took you in the day Mam Pincha punched you in the face and you were bleeding from your nose. And you needed refuge. You don't even know that I know that story. You don't know that I know from someone else that he broke your leg. Babes, we live in a country where women are getting killed left, right, and center. I'm happy that you left that man. And quite frankly, I am prepared to deal with the BCCSA. Mampincha, bring it on, quite frankly. We cannot yeah. sit in silence when an innocent woman is being beaten. And everyone knows, and everyone is quiet. Yes. Yeah. The day you are ready to tell your story, I will be there. I will be sitting in the front lines, and we are all here to protect you. Nothing is going to happen to you. Yeah. I mean, can it be said that I think it's very important that you do something about this? We can't tell you, and I certainly can't tell you when to do it, but you need to do something because, I mean, you can't live in fear and you can't live in regret over the fact that you went through what you went through. You, it's, it's, an, it's a no-brainer that it's, it's horrifying and you did nothing about it. So I think you need to do something about what you went through with Mampincha and whatever he did to you. I just don't know the when because that's that's you and I can only imagine what you're going through. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get you. 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 And if he continues to stalk you, to hack into your social media pages, to threaten you or to touch you, you get a restraining order against Mampincha. You understand? I don't give a damn who he is. All right? Yeah. Uh, we need to take a break. Yeah. Don't say anything more until the day you are ready to tell your story. Yeah. I had to. Yes, I did it. Okay? We have a conversation. He can blame it on me. Yes. He can blame it on me. He can send his lawyers to sue me. Okay? He can come with my ass. I'll be ready for him. Okay? Mm. You said nothing. Mm. And we understand your position. Just do something about it. Okay, guys. You keep in the uh, Okay. So we just literally announced the winner. His name is Given. Given, how did you enter? You won with Budweiser a ticket. To the FIFA World One Cup. One ticket. Yeah. Right. Okay, we're gonna do the so, same giving thing. you <laughs> Oh, uh.